Hey, thanks. First of all, what you're doing, you know, in the military. The chief of staff of the U.S. Army, General James McConville, paid a visit to Michigan for a frank conversation with business and education leaders about the challenges of military recruiting. The meeting at the TACOM facility in Warren addressed the issues of childhood obesity and a decline in educational achievement, which has led to a soldier shortage. General McConville says the Army has a 90-day program in place aimed at getting possible recruits where they need to be physically and academically. What we're looking to do is to inspire young men and women to serve that can meet the standards of the United States Army. We want to invest in American youth, and what we've done is we've actually stood up a future soldier uh, preparatory course to help young men and women who want to serve that are having problems meeting the academic and the physical requirements. We're not going to lower standards. What we're going to do is, is help them meet our standards. What we want to do is to give those who have not had a chance to participate in athletics, maybe because of COVID or some other reason, but the, the ability to get physically fit, and also those who are having challenges passing the academic requirements, a chance to do that. And that's what this 90-day program is all about. We think uh, we've got experience that with the, with the right diet, the right exercise, we can get uh, young men and women into the appropriate shape if they have the desire to serve. We have an academic test that recruits are required to take, and it used to be two-thirds passed. Now only one-third pass. And then on the, on the body weight size or the physical fitness side, we're just seeing a lot less um, young men and women. And we don't know if that's because of COVID the last two years, maybe sports programs, you know, virtual education. There's a lot of reasons why it could be. But what we do know is we want to give these young men and women that want to serve an opportunity to serve, and they, they have to meet the standards. What about COVID? What has that done in terms of recruitment? Well, it, it, it's made it much more difficult for our recruiters because they're not in the high schools. And, and what we see is exposure to the military is extremely important if we want young men and women to come in. And so what we see right now is 83% of the young men and women that come into the Army are military family members. So some would say it's a military family business. We want it to be an American family business. For the civic leaders meeting with General McConville, his remarks opened their eyes as to how the nation's labor shortage has impacted the military. It also provided insight as to how the Army is hoping to attract more young people. Whenever I have an opportunity to talk to a young person that's thinking about the military, I do. I let them know, you know, it changed my life, the best decision I ever made. Um, I work for a nonprofit organization in Forum, and our focus is women and accelerating women in their careers, but we do have a program for female veterans called Next for Vets, and so I facilitate that program and offer coaching to female veterans as they're just, how do they utilize the skills they gained in the military in the private sector? I think one of the things that can out today is that there needs to be more awareness of the military and the benefits and resources that the military have to assist uh, people who decide to take that path and really what's beyond that. They want to be a doctor or an engineer, really exploring those opportunities and better communicating them to their parents and to the prospect uh, students as well. What we know we want in the military when it comes to attributes, we, we want young men and women that are resilient that because they're going to face adversity and we want them to be able to overcome that. We want young men and women uh, that are physically and mentally fit because, again, they're going to be challenged in the military. And we want young men and women that have character. And if they have had challenges, we have to take a hard look at, you know, wh what type of soldier they're going to be because the American people have got to trust us. You know, we're, we're the people with the guns. And so you want to make sure that you can trust the United States Army. And, and quite frankly, I, I, I believe you can. And I believe that we have the world's greatest soldiers.